Hi everybody, it's Andrew. This is going to be part one of my complete colouring book collection. That is not all of them. There's some down there and there's some on another shelf which I'll show you in a minute. But I want to explain how I keep my colouring books because I don't just keep them all together. So on this top shelf, those books that are stacked on this side, those are Jade Summer books I haven't actually coloured in yet. The next shelf down are Jade Summer books I've actually coloured in. Though they're not all there at the moment because there's some whips around. The next shelf, there where I keep my Colouring Heavens just there, and these are like other people that I collect, so Creative Haven, Hannah Lynn, Selena Fennec, Camellia Angel Cobra, Deborah Muller, and so on. On the next shelf we've got the Colouring Heaven books I haven't coloured in, and the oversized colouring books I haven't coloured in, along with a PDF folder and oversized books I have coloured in. The next shelf down those are all the other books I've coloured in, so all my Han uh, Hannah Carlson, uh, Clara Markova, Maria Trelay, Romantic Country, Johanna Basswood and so on. There were some of them down there. On the next shelf down, which you can barely see, there's, there's all sorts on there, but generally it's for the small size colouring books. So things like the Good Wives and Warriors ones, and new colouring books, and that gap is where I put finished pages for the month. So I'm just going to go and find the other bookcase and tell you what's there. So before I show you the other bookcase, under my desk, this is my desk, my TV. This is where I keep my whips and supplies, as you can see, well some of my supplies, not all of them. As you see, it's a bit of a mess at the moment. There's supplies there as well. And there's supplies to the other side as well. They're everywhere. But that's generally mostly whips and supplies. So the whips are where you can see the uh, Camellia Angel Cover book. That's all whips, apart from there is a, uh, some pencils and pens there as well. So, I have another shelf. Right, this shelf, and please excuse the carrier bag of film developing stuff there, it's just there temporarily. These are all the rest of the colouring books I haven't coloured in. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of them. And there's a pile there as well, because I can't get them all on the shelf. So... I have to really colour in five of those every month and not buy very many. Because this doesn't include Jane, Jade Summer and this does not include Colour in Heaven. So yeah, I kind of need to get a move on with some of those. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. So, we're going to do it in parts. We're going to start with Jade Summer and Colour in Heaven books I haven't coloured in, okay? Okay, so we're going to start with the Jade Summer books. I've got a good stack here. Do I really want to know how many are there? There's a lot. So let's get started. So the first one I have got is Lazy Animals Adult Colouring Book. I'm just going to show you the front and the back. Like I said, these are ones I have not coloured in at all. So there's nothing to show you in these ones. <laughs> we got Fantasy Kids. And these ones I've bought because I want to colour in them and I just haven't got round to it because I've got so many books. Uh, Jade Summer Steampunk. Do you know what? I love this book but I haven't coloured in it. I think they, they're really good. So it's something I do need to do. Secret Jungle. And I, again, there are so many great pages. So I do, I do want to colour in this as soon as possible. Don't know when. Uh, Greek mythology. Now I like this one because it gives you the name of the god, like the uh, you know, Cerberus, the three-headed dog of the underworld, and your Poseidon, Athena, etc. Medusa, and then on one picture, and then on the second picture, it doesn't have it. So. You get the two of each, one with, and one without, which I think is really clever, because then you know which one it is, and Cerberus, you can, I love Athena, it's beautiful, you do them, no, you know, I, I just like the way it's got it on one and not on the other, I just think it's a really good idea. Tattoo Colouring Book Volume 2. 
I like that one and I like the the lion. There, again, I love these tattoo books. I just haven't had a chance to cut them. It's terrible. This is why I'm going to have a month of trying not to buy anything very much, but that's not going to last, is it? Let's be honest. Um, graffiti animals. Again, haven't coloured in it. As you know, if you've seen my complete Jade Summer colouring book collection, it's not now complete because there's been more books released and I've picked up more since. These all tend to be this way as well, which I quite like. I must do one of those soon. Delicious food. I love the burger. I think that's so cool. Burger and fries and a glass of lemonade or something like that. I might have to do that one. I like that one. Oh, roast chicken or turkey. So, yeah. More cake. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Dragons. Again, dragons aren't my big thing, but I do love some of these. That's. Yes, I, I do. I do like some of these actually. So, and I love the cover. I think the cover's just so beautiful. And I've got Magical Flowers colouring book. So, this is like one of their pattern ones almost. So, I must get and do something in that. I think. Maybe with the gel pens or something. I might try the Scribblicious in there because I haven't used them yet. Dinosaurs for Kids. Now I actually bought this one to colour some pictures for Jennifer's bedroom and I just haven't got around to it yet. But that one is so cute and steggy. Oh, she loves steggy. They're just absolutely stunning. So I must get on and do some of those. I'm going to cut the book up um, and put them in frames and put them on a wall. And then I'll just put it into my PDF folder when I've uh, started doing that. Forest Animals. I think this is one of the newer ones, isn't it? I think this is the newest one. And I haven't got it. Oh, they're so cute! Again, very cute pictures. I'm not going to lie. Love them. Oh! <laughs> so cute. So, Forest Animals. Another kids one. This is kids colouring with unicorns. I love the unicorn ones. Oh, oh they're just a bit cute. Oops, battery. Dead battery. Unicorn love. A unicorn. Which, I, I think they're just so adorable. And again, if she wants these on her wall at some point, they can. She could have some of the pictures to colour. I'm, I'm, you know, I can always scan them into my computer before I let her have it. So, And that's probably what I'll do. I'll just scan it in and then let her have it. Country Summer, that again is one of the newer ones. Again, yeah, I do like these pictures. Oh, that horse is so cute. I like horses. I think I just think it's, these are they're really nice. I love this one, the barn dance one. I'm definitely gonna have to do that one, I think, with the fiddle and the guitar and yeah, I like that one. You see, I've got a lot of books to colour in. Uh, Wonderful Christmas. I think it's the only Jade Summer Christmas book I haven't coloured in. They're bound to bring up some more this year. I think it's the only one, but I wouldn't say for 100%. So again, two of each in here. I've got one more to do. I just haven't got around to doing it. So I love the dog with the little <laughs> antlers on his head. I think it's that one I've got marked, actually. And that's quite cute, the party. Making gingerbread houses and stuff. I just like this book. Little chapel. Christmas shopping. Then we've got Cute Animals Book Volume 2. Again, these are adorable. That frog! Oh, I love it. I love the frog. It's a wide mouth frog. Look at that. That is adorable. They are they are really cute actually. I love these ones. Then, oh dear, Jennifer's gonna have a cry. Two of each. Yeah, ones they're diff slightly different, as you can see. One slightly got more detail than the other, which is quite interesting. And then we've got cute animals. The first one. 
Again, these are adorable. I'll pull this back a bit again, just simply because it's catching on the top. Oh dear, she's having night terrors. Oh, the snake's cute. Baby shark. <laughs> Thought you were singing now, haven't I? I'll have to go and check on her in a minute. But I think it's night terrors by the sound of it. Oh, look at that chipmunk. So that's cute animals. Uh, masks. There's still a few to go. Not too many more, but there are a few. I love masks. And this book is amazing. And I still have I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't coloured in it, I know. See, I love that one. I might have to do that one this month. Yeah. But you know, my Jade Summer Shelf, when all the books are on it, there's too many books for it. It won't fit. I'm either going to have to find another shelf. Or, I don't know. <laughs> they put out too many books. Majestic Animals. And this is so cute. They're beautiful. These are. Love the fish. Quite like colouring fish actually. Look at that. I know it's the second set, it's the first set. They are oh, beautiful. Look at that. So you've got a close up and then you've got a, 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 a unicorn in there. Oh, that's a nice unicorn. I'd definitely do that one. So, yeah. So that's uh, Majestic Animals. Then we've got <laughs> chippy animals. I'm sorry, there's so many. And I do collect the Jade Summer books, as you know. Chippy animals. Oh, that's cute. Nearly there. We've still got the Colouring Evans. I haven't coloured in yet. There's not many of those. Uh, beach Vacation. I like that one. I'll probably do that one of them. Um, yeah, some of, most of them are this way, I think. And yeah, they're really nice scenes. I don't know why I haven't coloured in it, to be honest. Oh look, beach volleyball. A dog and um, catching a stick. Reading about that would be me. <laughs> Girls can be anything. I like this book. It tells you what they are, so like teachers, CEO, doctors and so on to inspire girls. I, I think it's just a lovely idea. Dentists, musicians, astronauts, firefighters, detectives. That's one I definitely will do because I'm really into photography. So I love that one. Scientists, film directors, and I like film as well. So, yeah, that's a good one. Then we've got the princess colouring book. Well, these are cute princesses actually. The camera's gone wonky again. But they are from Fairy Tales, so obviously she's Cinderella because she's got the coach. So you've got there's Cinderella again. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I don't know which one that one is, yeah. Oh, Seven Dwarfs, so it's uh, Snow White. I love the way her head is bigger than the glass coffin. <laughs> it's like her head wouldn't fit. Oh. Sleeping Beauty's got to be. Oh, they're lovely, they are. Rapunzel. I like that, actually. That's cool. It's a horrible picture in a way because they're crying and she's stealing the baby Rapunzel, but it's a clever picture. It's well done. I like that one. Still going. It's not going to be a long, I don't want them to be like hours and hours long, so I'm doing them in sections. Um, flower bouquets. Yeah. I probably haven't coloured this one because it's a little bit too much detail for me. You can't even see it. Hang on, let's have that. Yeah, it's better. And uh, I might find one I like and do it. I, well, I will. I suppose that's quite a simple one. I'll probably do that one at some point. But I don't like it when there's too much. Oh, that's nice. That's like a little headband or like a bridesmaid's headband. So, yeah, I will. I will colour in it. It's just I've got to be in the mood for something like that. Art Nouveau, I'm gutted that they've put it out in grayscale and I got the line art one instead, but that's the way it goes. I'm not going to buy the grayscale if I've got the line art version. I'm not wasting money on that. It's not waste, but I'd rather spend it on another book like an Elena Lazarova or um, 
Deborah Muller or Sherry Baldy. But these are stunning. They are so detailed. I love that. Mm, might have to do that one. Might take me a while. Because I'd want to do it in pencil, I think, rather than in pen. I could do a bit in pen and pencil, and I do like that one. Because there's two of each, so I could could do it. That one. Then we've got the stuffed animals colouring book. Right, so um, again, these are so cute. See, I don't know why I haven't done anything in them. Because the, these big ones, they're quite simple. To, they're quite easy to colour in, and they don't take. <laughs> A huge amount of time. Oh, a monkey! So, because they don't take too long, I quite. And I don't know why I haven't. Look at that. Stunning, they are. Pirates. I'm gonna have to get some of these out and do them. They're just beautiful. Oh. Sometimes you, we get so many books that we forget what we've got, and it's only when we make a video like this that we remember how good some of the books are. Um, steampunk animals this is another good one there's one I definitely want to do in here which is the squirrel oh, look at that that's awesome um, if I can if I find him I'll show you him but oh look at that they, they are they are absolutely stunning very cleverly done as well it's the librarian The squirrel. I love this squirrel. So I definitely want to do the squirrel. <laughs> and the last of the Jade Summer for now that I haven't coloured in, because you know I'm going to buy more. There's still more I haven't bought from their old selection, let alone if they put anything new, is the Love colouring book. And I like this little patterns. It's not complicated. You know, you've got some flowers in an envelope there. Be mine. It's more of a Valentine's Day when I like the little bear, little koala bear there. So it's not that difficult a book to do. It's just I haven't felt like in the mood. I'm sure I will though. So I'm trying to keep these videos down to around 25 to 30 minutes. So that's why I'm doing it in sort sections. Yeah. Although, yeah. No, I'll do the Colour in Heaven and the oversized books. I think because there's not that many. Over there's only two oversized books and only a few colour in heavens and then it'll be the big the other shelf I showed you earlier so that is the end of the jade summer ones I'm gonna go and get the next lot and I'll be right back okay so I have got a Tanglewood Collectors Art Edition by Jessica Palmer and I bought this from I think it was Colour with Claire it was one of the youtubers and she'd done one picture in it but I've got it on my uncolored because I haven't she did that one I think it's really pretty I think she did a lovely job on it but she didn't want to keep the book haven't done one yet, haven't felt inspired enough, but it is a lovely book and I do want to colour in it. And the other one I haven't coloured in yet is the Aquarium, Marie, you can see the dust on it, Marine uh, Creatures to Colour. It's a Zen Doodly type of book in the sense it's got lots of these little patterns and you always think, oh, I've got to colour my puffish individual and different colours, but you don't. You can colour it all in one and then just highlight the bits or shade in the bits you want to. And that is probably what I'll do. I'll find one I, I like, look it up what it is, um, and then colour. Little walrus is pretty cute. See horses? And you could just uh, do it in, you know, how you want. So that's the aquarium. My dad bought me that one from the range, actually. Oh, right, on to the Colour in Heaven. These are in no particular order. I don't know whether they're collections or specials. I usually do keep them in order, but they're not. <laughs> they are in some sort of order, but that I've just been dumping them. Woodland Fantasy Special. This is issue number 30. I haven't coloured in this. I don't know why. It's lovely. Oh, I might do that one. That's nice. These are absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. But I don't know why. Again, I've got so many books that... That's cute. I want to colour in every single one, and I want to colour more than one picture, but... I've got more books than I've got time in the day. Sadly. Sorcerers and Sorceresses special. Again, I haven't coloured this. Jennifer's done a bit of work on the cover. I don't normally colour the cover, so that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's quite cute that she's done that. 
So these are the ones that you get on the subscription, although I wasn't a subscriber at the point. Again, I don't know why I haven't coloured in it. I think it's great. That's stunning. I like that one. Look at that. So I do need to get on and do something in that one. Sean the Sheep, this is one of the collection ones that you have to buy separately. As you can see, my desk is all skew with because the camera's not straight. Um, I do like Aardman um, animations, so I did pick up this one. I just haven't got round to doing it because he's white, so there's not a lot to colour really, unless you're doing, you know, obviously his face and that. Uh, you can look up the pigs and do the pigs. and That one's a cute one. I like that one. And there's that one. Most of these are probably in order now. Uh, Mermaids Special. This is issue 71. I haven't done anything in this. It does intimidate me. I think they're stunning. They're gorgeous. I know how I want to colour them. I'm too scared. I will get over it. Um, a colourful adventure storybook special. These are this year's at the moment, this one. But again, it goes back to the old one. This is issue 76, I think. This was Josh, Josh Lee. Yeah, Josh Lee. I think this is fantastic. But it's the sort of one you do want to colour in order because it does tell a story. Um, but I do like it. I think it's a lovely book. I will colour it. Secret World of Animals Special by Kanuka Igusa. This one is issue 33. Like I said, they're not in any order. I'm going to straighten up the camera. I won't be a second. Yeah, so Secret World of Animals by Kenuko Agusia. Again, it's a gorgeous book. I just have not done anything in it. Animals aren't my favourite thing to colour anyway. Animals in costumes or animals doing strange things. Although I quite like that cat with a crown on it. I like that one. Um, not normally my thing, but yeah, there's some beautiful illustrations in here. I know a lot of people really love this stuff, so... I, I get it. They are lovely. Again, too many books. Not enough time. We're near the end now. There's only two more. World of Princesses special. Issue 52. Um, lovely book. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. And that one. I like that one. Liberty Princess, Korean, Korean, Japanese, Indian, Edwardian, Dragon Princess, Dark Fantasy, and so on. Absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous. Again, I don't know. The newest one, until the next one comes, which will be next week I think. Uh, fantasy figures, again this is stunning, just haven't had a chance to do it, I do, there's loads I want to do in here, it's a stunning, stunning book. And there's obviously flip throughs for this up on the channel. Uh, grayscale, light grayscale, not a lot of grayscale, bit of grayscale, I absolutely adore it, but I just, it is having time, there are so many of them, but I would not stop getting them. I love getting my colour in heaven every month. Um, it just gives me a lot of choice and it's a good way of finding new artists. And the last of the colour in heaven books is the newest of the collection and of course it's the Care Bears book which I am so excited to colour in. I will be doing this one probably just straight colouring in markers and having fun. And the good thing with this is I can go in I can look up oh what does the love a lot bear look like um, what does the friend bear look like? Grumpy bear, fun chime bear. I can look up the colours on the internet and, you know, colour it from there. And that's going to be just a nice fun one to do. So, those are all the Jade Summer, Colour in Heaven and Oversized books I have not coloured in yet. That's it for this issue. If there's a book you've seen that you want to see me colour in on camera, let me know down in the comments below because I'll be happy to do that. It gives me a incentive to crack on and do it. So please, please, please tell me which one you want me to. Let me know. Um, if there's more than one, I will make a list. I will put all the options into a pot and draw one out and do them in the order they come in. So just let me know. I'll be saying this at the end of the next video, which will be all the other colouring books I haven't coloured in. 
So look out for part two coming very, very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.